साइंस दिस इज द ह्यूमन ब्रेन हाउ डज दिस कलेक्शन ऑफ नियरली अ हंड्रेड बिलियन डेंसली पैक्ड नर्व सेल्स अलाउ अस टू थिंक फील एक्ट एंड परसीव द वर्ल्ड साइंटिस्ट्स एट येल यूनिवर्सिटीज ब्रेन फंक्शन लैब आर ट्राइंग टू बेटर अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट हैपेंस इन आवर ब्रेन ड्यूरिंग अ कन्वर्सेशन यूजिंग दीज स्कल कैप्स कनेक्टेड टू 64 केबल्स At the tip of half of those fiber optic cables, weak laser beams slipped through the wearer's skull, penetrating about two and a half centimeters into their brain. There, the beams bounce off blood and reflect back to be picked up by the other half of the cables. In this way, scientists obtain detailed brain images with bright blotches of color indicating where the action is taking place. It's not a direct picture like an X-ray, but rather a reconstruction. We want to understand the neural circuitry that's associated with interaction between individuals. It's probably one of the most fundamental functions of the human species, and yet we know very little about it. The new information here is that visual reports of, say, facial information are an intimate part of the language system as it is being used in an interactive situation like like a dialogue two researchers at the lab are offering a glimpse into their brains as they chat two brains in conversation carrying out an intricate dance of internal activity as they talk scientists are also identifying visual patterns Altered patterns have revealed conditions like panic disorder or depression. It's hoped the research will also help understand how autism affects individuals. In the case of autism, the primary hallmark of the disorder, the one that is usually first noticed when um parents and uh uh health professionals suspect that a child might have autism is the fact that the child fails to engage with other individuals and yet we know very little about that neural circuitry that involves engagement with others at princeton university too neuroscientist yuri hassan is looking at how brains interact during conversation Functional MRI scans detect brain activity by monitoring blood flow. When a brain region is active, it needs more blood to provide oxygen and nutrients. As a result, the active regions light up on a computer screen. The study also shows that the more listeners understand a story, the more their brain activity pattern follows the speaker's. We developed new methods in which I can really scan people while they are telling real life stories in the scanner and then i can play these stories to a group of listeners and what we are asking is asking whether the listener's brain becomes similar to the speaker brain during natural real life communication so the similar the brain patterns the better the communication and the understanding so if you really get me now your brain patterns become similar and coupled to my brain pattern the next goal is to move the technology out of the lab making portable devices to replace huge mri machines could open new possibilities for brain decoding say the researchers who imagine a world where composers could write music just by imagining it or artists could simply think about a painting and let a computer do the rest